Why are we here? It's your video. Yeah, I know, but I'm here because of you. You know that. <sighs> it's so sweet. No, no, I'm, it, it, was, it was not a thankful thing. It was like a cause and effect. Oh. It, it was me blaming you. Oh, well, that sounds more normal. I'm used to that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you have done a video, right? I already? did a video! Yeah, Which I mean, one? I do like 7,000. Um, is it, a, how high is it now? I want to guess like 1,600, 1,700. You keep talking. Uh, you talk to me a while. It's going to be a while. So I'm here because of this man right here. He has done a challenge that he set up for himself, a 12 by 12 for 2023. And I know that we're already into the middle of February, but I think... Wow. Yeah. It's still achievable, even though we're six weeks in and I haven't started. Well, I mean, I technically... I started. I've started technically on a couple of these. Um... It's a 12 by 12 challenge to play 12 games 12 times in 2023, and we are specifically, at least the criteria that I understand it from how you have talked about it, is games that are maybe a little bit more challenging or not ones that you would typically go to immediately to table, ones that you really want to play, and also ones that you want to explore from several different angles, whether it's solo play, whether it's shifting player counts, but really just an excuse to play Titles that aren't incredibly easy to table that you could just, like, you know, throw away very quickly, but ones that, like, you really want to invest some time in, and this is a way to highlight those specific titles. Basically, yes. Mostly, and, yes. So, yeah. for me, it's the games I have to want to play them. Sure. I mean, it's not a chore. It's sure. something I want to spend I only on. picked ones that I would hate. Well, that's weirdest. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. They have it to just, be games that, that seemed I like a, a weird caveat. Are, I, I'm not already playing for sure. times. So, like, sure. Can't Stop is out. Because I play that a bunch. Yeah. Mm. Can't stop's gone. Well, you can't. Stop. stop. And then pa past that, they have to be achievable. Which, okay. is, for me, a combination of solo play, online play, or just specifically games that I know are easy to mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Well, in the last last category is they have to not be short. So I can't pick a game. even if I, even, even That's kind of what I meant by easy yeah. to table. But so for me, yeah. like I can't do Heroes of Land or C. And that's what I say. La Air Land and C. Air Land and C. I couldn't do Air Land and C because like, even though I don't play it 12 times a year, it's like a... 15 minute game. So yeah. it didn't count for like the challenge. I want this mm -hmm. to be a challenge challenge. Sure, sure, sure. So for me, I am going to go through my list. Sure. I'm going to start with, uh, because I'm doing can I, 12. Can I tell you which ones I want to help you with? Because I want to do them. As you go through your Oh, 12. as I go through? Can yeah, I tell yeah, you which yeah, ones yeah. I want to no, help No, preemptively you. tell them so they just, just, yeah. just, just, just give away the go list. Ahead, go ahead. No, okay. I'm, I'm going to randomly interrupt you as you go. Sure. I, I mean, okay. what do you think I do in your videos? <laughs> randomly interrupt me as I go. Yeah, I, I fully expect and want that in return. I want reciprocal behavior. We should treat each other the same way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're going to start asking me before you do it? Uh-huh. Cool, cool, cool. Are you with me? All right. So Marvel <laughs> Dice Throne. <laughs> so because I did 12 by 12, I have six um, games that I put on my short list that didn't make it in, but that I would happily do. Number one is Alien is the, the Role Playing Game. First? This is the short list first. Honorable mentions first, Alien the Role Playing Game, because we just recently did a video, and in that video, you, not me... You talked about wanting to play this this year. So this is something that would anyways be played 12 times. Potentially. But to me, if I do this, this is more of an impetus to like reinforce, hey, will you play role-playing games with Sounds me? Like and 12 sessions, I think, is a admirable, you know, even if it's just once a month, we're not making yeah. it. So yeah. hopefully we can do more than that. Seems reasonable. Yeah. So I want to do Alien the role-playing games for you. I want, I want to introduce you to it. I'm down. And I want us to do it. So that's one. The Great Wall is another one um, because it's coming in. I'm excited about it. You have you, you taught it to me with the Black Powder expansion. I'm, I really enjoyed it. I thought it. of who could play Alien with us. Who? I don't know if it'll happen, but do you know Justice? Justice. Yeah. No, I don't. I mean, like the the core concept. Yes, Justice. The abstract the idea. Concept. Yeah. Okay. I'm familiar with it. It, it, it. What's it called? Meg has a friend, Justice, who I've met at a bunch of conventions. Okay. Who I really like. Sure. Yeah. Let's He's do a cool it. Guy. He's a cool guy. Okay. Let's do it. Sounds good. Great. I'm gonna reach out to him. The male embodiment of justice. That's literally what he is. <laughs> okay. That sounds good to me. I need to move this real quick to where that doesn't go to sleep because that's where my list is. Um, great Wall, Alien the Role Playing Game. Wait, Great Cla Wall? You said Great Wall? What? The Great Wall. You want to play that 12 times? If I, I can, can get do it, in. it with you once. <laughs> that's ambitious. That's a tough one. Well, to do. that's why That's why because it, it's probably, I think, one of the hardest ones on there. For the record, I wish I could play Great Wall 12 times. The yeah. problem is it's not playable online. Mm, okay? Yeah, yeah. And it's not one where I'm going to play... 24 hours of the Great Wall with you over yeah. the next year. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's why it's on my short list. If you lived here, 
I yeah. would do it with you. Oh, okay. If you okay, okay. To, okay. You come that in... seems manipulative. Well, that wasn't my point. That's, that's too, that too. Well, if you lived here, I would happily play the game all with you at least once a month, easily. Okay. But yeah, if you're yeah, coming yeah. in infrequently, putting devoting sure. 24 to 30 sure. hours of our time towards the Great Wall. Yeah, that's absurd. We don't do that with any game right now. Even Marvel United doesn't hit that high. <laughs> Okay, so Great Wall is on there as a unlikely, but I wish. It has a solo mode. It's kind of like a I wish. It Ooh, I, it's interested to look into that then. Um, Cloud Spire is on the short list. It has a solo mode. Because I would love to have an excuse to play Cloud Spire more. Again, but just like 12. Great Wall, a tough one to get that many in because it's just a yeah. beast of a game. Um, DEI is on there. I and it's on, the, it's on the short list because... I don't own it. I, just, I don't care. You taught it to me, and I'm like, I want this I, game. I want to play this game. I will play that with you 12 times. I'm cool with that. Okay. DEI is on my list. Great. Let's do it. Uh, Dune also, Imperium. Also, DEI is on TTS. Ooh, talk to to me. Dune Imperium's on my list because I now have both expansions. Cool, cool. And uh, I put it on the short list, though, because I've played it enough compared to other games that like I don't want to prioritize it, even though I love it. Okay. Um, but I'd happily make it a game that I aimed at. And then the last one on the short list is Marvel United. And I would previously have put this on my list, so I went through my content. Why don't you have 12 plays like already? But you and I <laughs> have done it so much that I didn't feel like it was fine to put it okay, on my wait, list. Wait. I'm pretty sure we have five plays. We have four plays of Phoenix, of the Phoenix one. Four plays of Phoenix. Of, of that five yeah, one, plays one of the great wall yeah okay not great wall <laughs> red versus green versus yellow one. versus blue yeah yellow versus blue gold yeah. versus blue gold versus blue we have four of thanos are you sure it wasn't five four it's oh yeah we, he just one. has three yeah so that's nine so far yeah we have one of the sentinels sentinels that's yeah ten we have one, one of sinister the sinister six. six we have eleven oh, i guess i've played it 12 times so yeah. it counts well we also um do we play it again i don't remember I, we've played it i think another time what other mode do we play uh, oh, I think there's another one that we've done. I don't know if we have. Maybe. That's maybe 11 not. plays. You're not at 12 yet. This counts as the challenge. Okay, so uh, Marvel United is on my short list because you and I have already made a concerted effort to play through a lot of the content. Uh -huh. I mean, I've played it by myself. I've played it with Avery at home at least enough once. to get it. Yes, we've played so it like 12. three times. So yeah, 12. Yeah, I'm, I'm over 12. Okay, so it's on your short list. Yes. So if, only, if, you, if you only play 11 games, you already have 12. <laughs> All right, so... Now we're making it off the honorable mentions or shortlist uh -huh. to the actual list. Dice Throne is one of them because now I have this. And I haven't actually gotten to play my copy of Marvel Dice Throne at my house at all yet. I believe it's on TTS or Tabletopia as well. It's also one that Amber enjoys, yeah. so it would be easy to play two-player games. Yeah. Um, I would like to get some more team games because it's one that frequently does not ever have a team game experience uh, when people are playing it. But I think at 2v2, some of the heroes or some of the people that you wouldn't normally pick in a one-on-one -on -one are really, really strong choices in a 2v2. And so it really does change the dynamic. So I would like to play Dice Throne 12 times just because I love it. I've got, you know, season one, I've got season two, I've got uh, Marvel Dice Throne. So I would like to play Dice Throne 12 times. Sure. Uh, 11 for me is one that I've recently back I think Dice Throne Adventures was on my shortlist maybe? I can't remember. So Dice Throne Adventures, I played it and I was like, I like Dice Throne. I like campaign games. I would rather play another campaign game that I'm not getting to the table than Dice Throne Adventures. Sure. Um, I did enjoy it. It just was in this weird quasi place where I was like, I'd rather play Dice Throne or I'd rather play a campaign game, even though it is a good game. Uh, number 11 for me is Cthulhu Death May Die. Uh, so I have purchased season three and four. It's on the way, but I've got season one and two at the house and I've played... Uh, Fear of the un Into the Unknown, or Fear of the Unknown with you yeah. once, and I would love to have an excuse to That's make it through game. the content. Do you know content. the reason it wasn't on my list? Actually, I think I may have put it on my short list. Mm. I Could think you played it enough? Well, not I have. Not, I, I would play it happily 12 more times. Yeah. I think it might not be enough of a challenge for me. Sure. I sure, love sure. that game. But it, maybe... It's so comfortable for you to want to table it that, yeah. 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 No, that's fair. That's fair. Number 11, Cthulhu my... Definitely Die. Cthulhu Definitely Die is like my third most played game ever. I think my second most played mm, game ever. Wow. Was hours played. Hours played. Zombicide number one? No. Uh, Gloomhaven is number one. Gloom oh. Yes. When did Gloomhaven die? I overtook mean just it. this year. It, it overtook it, I want to say, about a month ago. Oh, nice. Because I had like two years of Definitely Die. But is Cthulhu Definitely Die more than Zombicide? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Although it's always weird how you count them because I log each type under its type. So if you collectively added up all the zombicides, it could be... It That's be, what I was wondering. Yeah. It's cumulative zombicide. I'd have to check. Gotcha. I'm interested in that. Interested in that detail. Number 10 for me Although is we'll Railroad Inc. And I am particularly... And I know you were like, I don't want to do short games. For me, Railroad Inc. is because I want to explore more of the expansions. Oh, I've seen you play. It won't be that short. 
You're a turd. You're a turd. <laughs> Railroad Inc., I've played through all of the four mm -hmm. base... And I'm looking up there because that's where his uh, collector's edition is. I've played through all the four base. I've played through all of the um, individual expansions that are in those four base games. But I've only played with one of the other expansion packs. And I would also like to just mix and match some of them because I've really only kept the expansions limited to their uh, game types. So I would like to just play more Railroad Inc. and get more out of that collector's yeah. edition. Do you like Railroad Inc.? Yeah. I play it all times with you. Yeah. Happily. And it's available on Tabletopia, I think. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's on BGA, too. Oh, yeah, even better. Yeah. I'll play with you on BGA. Yeah. I'll, I'll contribute some plays. Nice. Uh, number nine for me is Everdell the Complete Collection. Because I like Everdell, and I've played with Spirecrest. I've split. I've played with Pearl Everdell Brook. Everdell might be on my list. Or really? my short list. And I, I, I recently did a video where I was like, when do you get too much of a game that it scares you away from actually playing it? Uh, Black Rose Wars. Black Rose Wars. And I, I mentioned that in the video. And this box is so big, and now that everything's together rather than in separate boxes, it actually, I feel like, might be a little bit more intimidating to table, even though I've played it a lot digitally on my phone. Um, so, I mean, I, I can get... I specifically said the complete collection because I would rather not do it on my phone unless they put some of the expansions on the uh, you know Direwolf digital app I really would like to play this and, you know, make, you know, justify the fact that I have this huge, huge box. You're such a millennial just on your phone. I just wanted to I'm have a human the conversation. I'm checking the answer for you. I wanted to have a human conversation. Anyways, Everdell Complete Collection is my number nine. We can wait for what you say. With what? I, was, I just, I'm going to wait and I'm going to keep going. No, keep going. I'm, I'm going to keep find, going I'm, I'm and see if you want to interrupt later. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely. good at interrupting, so I figured absolutely. you could take over that part. I got this. Number eight for me is Final Girl because I have all of season one and season two is inbound. And I am very jealous of Meg on uh, Final Girl Fridays going through Final Girl because I want to go through the different locations, the different enemies, and use the different Final Girls and really just kind of go through that content. So that is one of two mainly solo games that I got. So I have Final Girl, and I want to go through as much of it as possible. So if I do it 12 times, then I'm going to be playing 12 times, because currently I've only played Camp Happy Trails with Hans, and I would like to switch that up. Number seven for me is my other mainly no solo one. Final Girl. Huh? I have no interest in joining you for Final Girl. Yeah, uh, for the solo game? That's what I'm okay, about. good to know. Yeah. You don't want to watch me play a game? Just happy, happy to help you. <laughs> Number seven for me is my other solo minded one, and that is Space Hulk Death Angel. I have the base game and all four of the expansions for it, or all three of them, and I would like to play through the expansion content. And so because of that, I. I, I want to play the game, so I want to play it 12 times. That'll encourage me to lean into the expansion content and justify the fact that I spent a decent amount of time trading or buying my way to get that full collection of Space Hulk Death Angel. I really, really like it. It's a fast-playing solo game, and I would enjoy to check that out. So number seven for me is Space Hulk Death Angel. That and Final Girl are the two solo-minded ones that I've got. 88 hours of Zombicide collectively, mm -hmm. the most of which is Black Plague at 55 okay. hours. Nice. And only 70 of Clueless May Die. Ah, so it's cumulative Zombicide, cumulative which zombicide is now, I bet you're over 100 for Gloomhaven. Um, over 100 for Gloomhaven. 100, yeah. 122 hours of Gloomhaven. Holy cow! Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of Gloomhaven. That's a lot. But that will lead me to my six and five. What my was six. Last, what was that final girl? last one was, was that Space Hulk Death Angel. Because uh, I have all the expansions girl, for it. Angel. Yes, it's not another solo game, though. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to help you with that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Number six for me is Oathsworn into it's the deep wood. It is. It's on my list. I just I want an excuse to go through this game, and if I play it twelve times, that's twelve encounters. I've already done two. I would need to redo. The, it, it depends if I continue my campaign or if I start a fresh one with other people. But I've done the first two campaigns, or I've done the first two encounters. The first one I've done, as you've mentioned in a previous video, multiple times. Um, but I want to redo the second one now that I kind of know how it functions and I want to re re go into it. But yeah, Oathsworn just an excuse to play that. I've got gorgeous miniatures that I want to play with, and yeah, would you help me with that? It seems like you have a prior commitment, almost an over commitment of maybe too many campaign games with the other board game co employee, not me. Listen, talk to her. We started our campaign already. One encounter. Of 21. I mean, we're about to continue if you want to come join us. Oh, that's how we're going to play it. Not the 800 other campaign games you guys have committed to. The one that I would want to join for. It's fine. I'll do it. It's fine on my own. 
Um, so Osworn in the Deep Wood is my number six. Yep. Leading into my number five, Gloomhaven. Oh, so good. Because I have started with uh, three of the camp co-opers with Successful Geef, Grunge Life, and G. White. I have started playing with them on digital, and I'm just going to keep playing with them. And 12 sessions means, you know, 12 more sessions into Gloomhaven. And I want to keep playing Gloomhaven with them. I'm Do having it. a blast. Gloomhaven's so a lot of fun. So that's one of my, you know, I'm, I'm doing the Tinker. I didn't include Gloomhaven because it's, it's an easy hit for me. Yeah, yeah. But for me, it's more of like a, I want to make good on that social commitment yeah. of playing with them yeah. and having a fun time. So it's it, I, I don't mind that I'm almost certainly going to be doing it. Um, to me, it's just I want it to sit there because I want it to be How often you play right now? a mindful thing. Uh, typically once a week. Cool. So like on Mondays. Nice. Uh, now, a couple times now we've played because someone's been busy or uh, we wanted to add in Shredmi and, 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 and Chad. But uh, the two of them, we've done BGA twice now nice. rather than Gloomhaven. But we'll still, I'll still easily hit uh, Gloomhaven. Um, okay, number four for me is God Tier. That's on uh, my list. Sky Tears on my list. Sky Tears on your list? I, I just want to keep playing with more of those, so the of balance those war bands. Is Sky Tears available online. Is God Tier available online? I think Probably. it is. It is. It's on Tabletopia. Yeah, it's I on think Tabletopia. So. <gasps> we should talk. I just want to play with those war bands and talk. check them out. Yeah, I'm happy, happy to play it online. If it's, on, if it's online, I'm happy to play it. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, I'm happy to play it in person, but mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. Nice. God Tier number four. Number three for me is Blood Rage because you sent this to me and I haven't played it yet. And it's still one of your one of your one of your main squeezes. It still is. So I want to play it if it's one of your main squeezes. Yes. Yay. This is gonna get weird. What? Nothing. What's gonna get weird? Nothing's weird. I'd like it to get, get weird. weird. Oh, I want oh, it to get, to get weird. weird. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, Blood Rage is my number three. Sure. My number two is Unsettled. Aww. Is uh, is that on your list? It is on my list. Actually, it's on my short list. It's on, oh, it's not on your main it's list. It's not available online. At least I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do love it quite a bit, and it's playable solo. Mm -hmm. So there's that, and I'd happily play it twelve times. Okay, all right. Honestly, so and that, even number that. Two. Yes, go ahead. Is unsettled. Yeah. What's and number one? My number one. Uh, this isn't ranked, by the way. Did you rank yours? No. Okay. Not yeah. for this. This is just me listing them. I was listing them as they came. Number one for me is Feast for Odin. It's available on BGA. It's on BGA. That's we the one time it. I've played we it play last all year. All twelve plays together on BGA. I would do it. I would do it. Is it on your list? It's on my list. It is it's on my list. Nice. Because on BGA. See my list again. Part of my list is I wanted to hit games that I know that I want to play uh -huh. and that I know that I like and uh -huh. that are a challenge to play twelve times. Yeah. But Feast I also want to challenge to play. But I want to be achievable. achievable, achievable and BGA yeah. makes it achievable. Mm -hmm. it means I want to play it with the expansion. I want to play it solo. Do they have Norwegians it. on BGA? I don't know, but I don't care because some of them are going to be in person. Yeah, that's fair. Because you could play it a certain amount of times. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's not helpful for them. I just want to look at all these games that we're going to try to play. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Mm. Which one are you most excited about being on your list that you feel like I would never play it? I would never have been able to do it if I don't put it on this list. Let me find my list. I'm gonna find my list. I, I'll, I'll go on mine. The one that I think I just would not have played 12 times if I didn't put it on this list is probably Unsettled. I don't think if I, I, I think if I didn't put Unsettled on here, I would maybe play it once or twice this year. And I really want to play it more. Okay, so my goal list over here, the goal list that I actually have, if I can click on this button, um, oh, Too Many Bones, I'm excited for that one, I'm excited for Too Many Bones, Encyclopedia, I have Spirit Island, Too Many Bones, Encyclopedia, Lost Ones of Arnak, Wild Ascent, Mythic I feel like Arena the Contest or Tanaris combined, either that or, um, Arena the Contest is Sentinels easy. of the Multiverse. Oh, no, Arena the Contest easily. Really? And then, for the, in terms of most excited? No, in, that would, if this wasn't on the list... I'm saying... Wait, what's the question? I'm saying, what is the one that you're the most excited for that you probably wouldn't have been able to achieve or wouldn't have prioritized it as much if you hadn't have made the list to do that? Too Many Bones. You don't think you would play Too Many Bones as 12 enough? times? No, I, I mean, it, it's it's not necessarily the exact number being 12. It just means... No. Like, like, the contest, I feel like you've played Too Many Bones way Arena more the than Arena the Contest. is the one of this list that I'm the most likely to table. I've really? been waiting for Tenaris. That's why I haven't played it. Oh. I've been waiting. Oh. The whole entire reason why I waited is because I'm like, I love this game. And they're like, actually, that was just like a weird offshoot mode. And now we're really going to dive down into it and make it actually a companion game out of this. 
Oh. That's why I've been not in a rush to play it. You never explained that half of why oh, you hadn't my ever tabled thing, it as Amina much. The Conscious was primarily created as, a, as an arena mode of four players versus four players. Or yeah. Four, a team of four versus Skirmish four. Skirmish. Skirmish. Game. Yeah. That was the main two mode. Two people, like 1v1 each doing four, or 2v2 two two each yeah, doing two each. Doing. Yeah. yeah. However you want to play count, but four yeah. versus four. Okay. And that, that was the main mode, and they had a like a five mission like kind of like campaign thing. And they're like, had. no, that we're actually going to go really hardcore. Because people the loved it. People oh. loved the solo. Oh. They were like really leaning the solo, and the, the whole thing arrived, and people were like, we love the solo mode, and they're like, oh, okay, well that was the um kind of secondary thing. Hey, you know that video that you posted to, like a couple days ago yeah. about like games that you were supposed to be teaching me and Meg? Yeah. It's, uh, it's on. I'll teach you anything you want. Anything you want. It's I'll dive into it. it. Yeah, to next. I'll do it. Yeah, for you, absolutely. You're supposed to teach it. I'll teach it to you. To me. I'll teach it to you. You gonna? Yeah. You gonna teach it? We should play Zaya this week. This week? With Akiva. I, I, I wanted to play I know. We should have I, I didn't put it on there because I thought, like Great Wall, it would be too hard to get 12 I times know. in. But I really want to play mode. Zaya. There's a solo campaign if you have that. That's a huge... That's a beast of a solo. I haven't played it. I wouldn't know. I played Zaya. The two solo, solo that I picked are ones that fa play fast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that are fun here. There's but then I have a lot of content for. How many, how many plays do you play a year? You oh know? gosh, you nowhere know? near you. I know, but I'm saying, but you realize a 12 by 12 challenge is 144 plays. Yeah. I play 1,280 games. I probably games. do like 70 a year. 70 games a year. <laughs> so last year I did 12. It's ramped up the last couple years. Last year I did 1,280 plays. I'm saying, but that means I committed over 10% of my plays are going towards this challenge. That's a lot. Yeah. I've committed like 100% of, of my plays <laughs> to this list. I'm just saying, do you realize what a commitment this is? Sure. Okay. I never said I was going to make it. I'm going to try, though. Oh, well, given how you punish yourself with a 16-hour live stream and you haven't done that yet, I understand the whole thing. I said it. I got to wait. Uh, it's weird. It's like I schedule trips to a place that is 14 hours away because of like you. And then I come here and you go, meh, 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 meh. haven't done your live stream yet. I'm going to do it. Guess what I'm doing on the live stream? Playing, playing on BGA. Playing on BGA now. <laughs> so, Feast for Odin. If you do a 16-hour live stream, you could probably knock out two or three of these games online narrowly. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Play Space Oak Death Angel. Possibly. So just 12 plays. Possibly. Clearly. It's not the hardest. Sure. Do it. Sure. You want to play Parks sure. together? It's online. It's on Tabletopia. That's on your list, though. I need yeah. help with my list. You're already good enough to do Why don't you list. cross your list with mine? Let's let's talk about this. Okay. You just did the math, and we're like, Devin has to commit 100% of his plays to get this done. And you're like, I have to commit 10% of my plays to get this done. Yes. And then you're like, well, you played Parks with me. <laughs> it sounds like you overcommitted and are making it my problem. Yes. I was reasonable. How did you not get that? Oh, okay, fine. Cool, that makes sense then. <laughs> Now you're okay with it? Now that yeah, we know yeah, now, it's, now that it's in the open? Yeah. Okay, alright, cool. cool. Deal? Deal. Okay. Thanks. Absolutely. What games would you do if you were doing a 12x12? 12 12? I want to know, do any of my list make your list? Do any of Alex's list that he shared make your list? What are your thoughts? Would you do something like this? I, I Even if you don't share your whole list, what is your number one game that you're like, if I could say that I was going to play it 12 times this year and it's re it's it's achievable, what would it be? I want to know. Sounds like a plan. Uh, in any case, thanks. How do you sign off? On I say have a good one. Do you say in, you say in any case though? Oh, sorry. In any case, and until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I hope you have a good one. Like that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. No, cut it. No, I really will. No, stop. Okay, cool. No, I. I don't want this to keep going. I, it's done. It's over. But it's. I can see it's recording. It's. You, you can cut up. Cutting happens after. It's in post. You're not able to just. You're not able to snip audio Whatever video you files. Oh, you just stop it manually every time. How do you? What in the world are you doing on your channel? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Much? I, I'm doing what everybody does. You push the button, and then you push the button when you're done, and button. then that's the video file I'll that you have to button. do. Go I'll push the button. button. No, 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 no. You it's just. Say, you have. You have a different this button. This is the camera. Yours is a digital this is the one. Camera. Yours is a digital one. Fine. I'm pushing the button. That one!